Right, I tell you, today I want to introduce you to what I think is the best Mac you can buy, or certainly the best Mac laptop you can buy, the 13 inch non-touch MacBook Pro. And yes, I said the non-touch because I like this non-touch version better than the touch version. I will get on to why. Now I will be comparing what I think are the best 13 inch laptops on the market make sure you subscribe to see that video it's right down there near the like button and i can tell you now this one stacks up well and it definitely has claims to be the best 13 inch laptop period now unlike the 15 inch macbook pro which i think is overpriced it's underpowered certainly in the graphics department and i think there are better laptops out there that are faster that are cheaper and just have better ports and even with the xps 15 better display as well when it comes to 13 inch the competition is a lot closer because this thing is pretty good value it's around the ballpark of all the other 13 inch laptops like the surface laptop xps 13 zenbook deluxe and stuff like that it is very competitively priced did i mention it is beautiful it's well crafted it's really beautiful premium laptop i love the color the uniform fitness it is a really nicely designed laptop so why do i like this one better than the 13 inch with touch well first of all it doesn't have that gimmick touch bar i'm not a fan of that touch bar it does nothing for me if anything it slows me down the only thing i miss from the touch bar it's not really part of the touch bar but on the side of the touch bar there was touch id the fingerprint scanner i do miss the fingerprint scanner even though it did annoy me a bit it used to activate siri all the time but i do like having a fingerprint scanner so i do miss that but the touch bar i don't miss it at all now this 13 inch non-touch macbook pro 13 inch compared to the 13 inch with touch bar the differences are you get two thunderbolt 3 ports with this one and you get four on the touch version now on a 13 inch i don't know that i'll be needing four two is probably plenty i would prefer if it had an sd card slot and usb top a but that's hey, that is what it is but other than that and obviously not having a touch bar which i definitely prefer the only other differences are this one has a bigger battery the non-touch version and it uses the 15 watt ultra Bull cabby lake processors which use less battery so it has a bigger battery and it uses the 15 watt cpu which means you're going to get the best battery life out of this 13 inch compared to the touch version now in terms of power i think like the touch version it's like 2.6 versus 3 gigahertz or something like that it's really not that much faster it is faster so if you definitely need the fastest well you get the one with touch but it's not a great difference especially when you're talking they're all dual core processors so they're not exactly powerhouses to start off with definitely if you're going to be doing some video editing like 1080p a bit of struggle maybe with 4k on both of them you definitely want to get the i7 model this is just a bog standard 256 gigabyte ssd 8 gigabytes ram with an i5 because it's not going to be my video editing powerhouse sort of thing it's made to be ultra light and portable like it's three pounds just over three pounds or 1.37 kilos it's 14.9 millimeters thick so it's actually not that much thinner than the 15 inch macbook pro and it's definitely not the lightest 13 inch laptop i mean they're all within 100 or 2 grams of each other but certainly it's not the lightest you'll find out in the shootout anyway they're the only differences the battery size the touch bar using the lower wattage cpus in this non-touch version so you're going to get the better battery life and those two extra thunderbolt threes that the the 13 inch with touch gets so for me i would take this any day of the week more battery life fantastic no touch bar rubbish i love having the function keys that's what i'm used to i do like it i can hold the power button down if it's going crazy and i tell you what i install steam on this and it goes nuts i always have to force quit and it has frozen up so having that power button there to just hold it and it just closes down that's really good and i do like having a proper escape button there all the time and not have to fiddle around sliding and all this just apple if you want to detach make a touch screen don't give us this half baked sort of touch bar thing it just does nothing so we'll be going overseas later this year i think it's in a month's time going to italy france i think and i think we're going to uk so i want to travel light so i got this i'm not going to be doing that much video editing the thing is because we're going to be like virtually changing places where we're staying every day nearly it's not like i can go set up and you know i'm traveling with a small suitcase and, and buying a big suitcase and coming back 
back with that. Like, I'm going to have only three or four changes of clothes. I'm not going to take my XPS 15 because I don't think I'll be doing that much video editing. I do, might do a little bit, so I'll get away with it with this 13-inch. If I was going to buy a 13-inch laptop, the XPS 15 would suit me probably more because it's got all the ports and so there's less messing about in that sort of way. But I've already reviewed the XPS 13. I haven't reviewed this 13-inch MacBook Pro. And, and before I was a PC user like a couple of years ago, I was using a MacBook Pro. So it's good to get back to the MacBook Pro. And I think this is the best one. Without a doubt, I would not buy the 15-inch. I wouldn't buy the one with touch. This is the one I like. Killer battery life on this thing, like 10 hours. Display is phenomenal. 500 nits and on a 13 inch laptop the 16 by 10 ratio does help out like i don't care on a 15 inch because most things are 16 by 9 and on a 15 inch screen 15 inch screens are big anyway but on a 13 inch laptop having a 16 by 10 ratio does actually help out it does give you more real estate and that's the same with a surface laptop too it has that same sort of aspect ratio whereas other laptops have the 16 by 9 and 16 by 9 on the 13 inch is very small actually so especially if you're used to a 15 inch display so i think this is the best macbook you can buy the super fast ssd i, I don't like the keyboard I don't like the port situation just being all thunderbolt would be nice to have a touch screen but yeah, it's a mac whatever but other than those sort of gripes there i do really like this laptop and i will be taking it away with me and i'll give you an update on how it goes on my journey and i will be comparing the best 13 inch laptops very soon so make sure you subscribe i'd like to really thank you guys for watching until next time guys tally ho